Hi, beautiful people. This channel is all about inspiration, motivation, and self-improvement. So do me a big favor and do to yourself a big favor. If you're new on that channel, subscribe, like this video in the end if you really, really love it, and be a part in something that's going to be amazing. Guys, I'm Lodi, and today the subject is As a black person, people don't want to see you well. As a black person, people don't want to see you wealthy. People don't want to see you success. Yes, guys, this is scientifically and historically proved. I even experiment that as a black woman in my workplace. Some people, even my own colleague, wish and expect to me to be less, to be less performing. Even in the street, as a black woman, we super, super, super overlook. People look at you with a lot of insistence. As a black person, when you look good, people look at you with envious. People look at you often with hate. And of course, I really understand that everyone has been already over, over, overlooked. But seriously, guys, with a black person, it's something else. People don't want to see you sad. People don't want to see you well, seriously. People feel like something wrong when you swear like a nice clothes, when you look good and blah, blah, blah. People feel like something wrong or people feel like you steal your success. People feel like you're a prostitute or maybe if you're a guy, people feel like you're selling drugs or you're a footballer player or something like that. Like as a black person, seriously, it's not, it's like you're not allowed to be, to look good. You're not allowed to, to, to be success. You're not allowed to, to, to be worthy, seriously. People just overlook at you, overlook at you. Even like a normal person like me, because I'm super, super fashionable. I love fashion. And I'm not even swearing like expensive clothes, but people overlook at me, seriously. People always overlook at me. It's just crazy. Just to say, like, pe people want you to, to look shit. People want you to look shit in general. The nature of the human being is like, it's full of jealousy. It's full of jealousy. It's not all the human being, but seriously, as a black person, people want you to see your shit. People want to see you fat. People want to see you aggressive and vulgar. People want to see you swearing a ghetto clothes. People want to see your hair messy. People want to see you dirty. People want to see you and people expect to you to got the ghetto attitude. Seriously, as a black person, people want you to be the last, the last, the last to be worthy, the last to feel happy, the last to feel gorgeous and successful. Seriously, guys, I'm not a negative person. I live in Paris for 26 years, I live in New York City for six months, I live in London now for three years and a half, and seriously, when you look good, just even good, you're not even like worthy and even like successful, but people look at you like, you know, where she's come from, who she is, oh, and people always say like, oh my God, you look so different, you're so different. So what is me like i supposed to 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 got like this kind of like a ghetto style or maybe like a ghetto attitude seriously guys i'm telling you as a black person people don't want you to be to look good to be worthy and to be successful it's my own experience i'm not saying like it's all the people want to see the black people down and the black people, he healthy and he worthy, and the black people not success. But it's something really, really seriously, I feel, I feel like for black people, seriously, people don't want you to look good and success. And I think some of the white people got a territory, a negocentrist, a jealous and a hate problem with honor since the beginning of this world, guys. We can realize that with the history in Europe. By jealousy in Europe, European people, French people, German people, and Austria people, genocide, six billion Jewish people, 
even more and still now that jealousy and envious and the stigmatization of the jewish people is still on the subconscious mind of the people so the jealousy of some white people on other native people is not something new by jealousy and envious billion and billion people was by jealousy envious and voracity billion and billion people was enslaved the fear and the jealousy of some white people destroy one of the most wealthy city, one of the most wealthy city guys, built by a black community in 1879 in USA, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The black straight community in Tulsa was super, super wealthy, guys. With the social organization, the first bank for black people, nursery, church, fashion shop, police station and post office. But by jealousy and aid of the black people, the worth of the black people, the success of the black people, hundred of some white American supremacists kill, kill 75 to 300 people by gun, by explosive, drop some explosive by airplane and incendiary all the black street city. The Tulsa attack in May 31 and June 1st in 1921 destroy and split the black community in Tulsa. The human damage was about 800 people being in the hospital and 10,000 black people was left homeless. And all of the property in Tulsa city was estimated today more than $32.25 billion, guys. So 32, guys, $32.25 billion that black community in Oklahoma was estimated today. That is just unbelievable. On that Tulsa history in Oklahoma, in America, that clearly prove the jealousy and the obvious character of Tulsa attack and Tulsa massacre made by some white supremacists who planned that massacre on orchestrating a diabolic history of rap of one white young woman who was accusing a young black man who was rapping her. So the world history show us guys that some white supremacists are completely sick with the wolf of order. But again, that aid and that sickness of some white supremacists who really, really fear the wolf and the success of order touch every community. But as I say, guys, with the black community, is even worse, is even worse. Some people don't want to see a black person success, guys, seriously. Some people don't want to see a black person successful and developing without them assistance. Most of the people think they're super, super educated about history. But there is not much of them who are really educated about history, especially the black history. In general, people love to think that they're better than black people because all of the world has been told by the white supremacists that black people are not human and that black people doesn't have any history. And the black man doesn't build anything on this world. So people love to glorify themselves and seeing black people as a mistake of the nature. That's why most of the 7.4 billion people living on that planet love to see themselves in the saver position on helping and assisting the black people. Some of the white supremacists fear in general to lose their business, to lose their money, to lose their power and to lose their prestige because due to the progression of some black people leadership in the society and of course guys i know that there is a lot of black people successful and a lot of black people worthy full of around the world a business person an actor actress 
a musician, some lawyer, and a lot of them. But all that successful black person guys do not represent the majority. And in general guys, all of that successful black person become fame and success because they fight and also thanks to them talent for sure. But for example, most of, of some black actor become successful in America is thanks to some human law apply, apply like on some country in America, as I say, and also in Europe to add it some quota of some people come from the diversity, like Asian people, black people, especially on the divertisement industry. In any industry, example, advertising, when you work in the office, there is always one people come from the minority people because of the human progressist law. That also means that the majority of all industry is controlled by the white majority who got the, the economical advantage. And that white majority definitely protects themselves socially and economically still maintain that economical dominance in Europe, in US, in Australia, and also in Latin America. I think the majority of the predominantly white people really fear the success of black people. The oppressor fear to lose in power and him economy predominancy. And as I say, of course, we still will see some black people wealthy and success. But in Europe, in America, in Latin America, all the European society will always privilege economically their own people first and make sure that black people will never take the economical advantage to them. I really believe like some white majority, not especially supremacist, are most of them progressist. But when the progress touch, it can affect their own privilege and comfort, the progressist mind lose completely the sense of the moral. The protection of them entity is legitimate. The protection of them family is also legitimate. But some of them territory was still from our native people. And I also understand that the economical domination is legitimate and is also justified by a lot of lot of work. And they also bring a lot of science progress. But the basement of that economical dominance was still by other work and other righteous. So as a black person, don't be surprised if some people don't want to see you success. As a black person, don't be surprised if some people want to see you fail, to give to you their hand. Thank you so much guys. I hope I really push your reflection up. Let me know in the comment if you already feel that feeling, if you already feel like as a black person, people don't want to see you well. People don't want to see you wealthy. People don't want to see you success. Leave me that in the comment. And please guys, don't leave this channel without subscribe. Subscribe is absolutely free. You got nothing to pay, nothing to lose. You will challenge so much more your own reflection. Click on the right button, share this video, like this video. I kiss you a lot. I really appreciate your time. Thanks to watch it. Thank you so much. Bye.